wake up. She's pretending to be asleep. So we here in Knaresborough, we have arrived. We're in the centre. We had a great stopover last night in the Cricketers pub car park and they were very friendly in there. We had a couple of pints. Up bright and early, we're all fresh. And we've parked in this car park, which is a long stay car park, and it's only £1.90 for 24 hours. So that's a great start. Priorities now is when she's done her hair, is to get some breakfast. That's the first thing. Weather's looking good. And we're just gonna have a walk around Nairsborough. That looks like the town centre ahead there, doesn't it? It does. Have you seen the name of the street? Yes, Gracious Street. Goodness gracious me. I bet that's that Mother Hubbard woman, isn't it? There's another one across, but somebody sat next to it. I don't want to lose that. Blind, that's Blind Jack on that one over there. Blind Jack? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mo what did I say she was called? Mother Hubbard? That's what? Mother Shipton. <laughs> that's a fish and chip shop, isn't it? Who was Mother Shipton? Was she supposed to well, be a witch or something? We're going to find out today, aren't we? Look at that pub. That's my kind of place. Isn't it beautiful down here? It's gorgeous. Is that like an aqueduct? What is it? Uh, what goes across it? Does anything? I don't know. Might be disused. Is it the trains? Oh yeah, it will be trains, won't it, of course. Oh, Ryan Box, Helen. Oh. oh my. Oh gosh. Yes, you need to go on those. And you can row me all romantic. I'll do some romantic rowing. Agum, Agum, Agum. Doors, doors, Agum. Agum, doors. I just says to Helen, I says, what is it with these hippies that can't brush the kids' hair? You know, like that scamp look. I think they do it on purpose. Do you know them. what it is? It's because when they do brush the hair, the kids are crying. Well... My daughter had very, very long hair. And honestly, my neighbours must have thought I was trying to murder her every morning. It was horrific. But I still did it. But them kids there, they look like they'd not had their hair brushed in weeks. <laughs> and they seemed to be quite a posh family. I don't know, it's like a look, isn't it? Is it? Right. There's a place there, look. But we need to go on this, on the river. But we'll probably get not sat down. We shall see. Let's go in, see if they've no, got... No, hang on, this is Marigold. What was that other one you were on about, the riverside over there? There's no seats in that one, which is a shame. That's Alan's fault, because she can't get up in the morning. Look at her. You think she'll go to pull? Where would you like to sit? I'm going all out. Oh yeah, well me too. <laughs> I need fueling. <laughs> I'm going to have the full English. Full English? Full English. But are you having the big one or the small one? I'm going to have the large one. Well I'm I'll have the small one, but I would like to add... You're not pinching stuff off mine. Black pudding, please. I'm a growing lad. I need a, a large one. And what do you want to drink? Coffee? 
Yes, please. So, a small English, a large English. But can I have black pudding on you the small, please? You can have that. Yeah, of course you can. It's nice, doesn't it? It looks really it smells nice. Smells good. Yeah, and what I like about it, the tomato is actually uh, properly grilled. It looks like a quality sausage. Which you know I love a quality sausage. And, and me being really healthy, I've gone for the uh, brown toast with mine. What, the brown toast? Yeah. I'm an athlete. Yeah, the but breakfast was really nice. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. they probably and get the best height. All your staff seem really nice and efficient. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. So, what was that? The Riverside? The Riverside Cafe. Yeah. It was really nice, actually, it wasn't was. it? It was good value. It was good value. The service was fast, efficient, friendly. The sausage was quality. <laughs> <laughs> it was just really nice and it was clean and all the staff were all You're working doing the away. right efficient review, Honestly, aren't you? Honestly, no, it was really nice because now I can. I have been to many places for breakfast. Yeah. That is in my top five. Is it? Yeah, it I would good. recommend it, it really as well. Nice. And I looked at the prices of the cakes and they weren't extortionate. Right, where do we get on these rainbows? Shall we? Over there. Is that is this a queue for rainbows? Or no, this is the queue for this cafe. I've got a feeling that they're going to be really expensive because there's not many people. Am I not them. worth it? No. If it's over six pound, I'm not going on. No, it's not down there. It's up here. Well, it says. It says what? Please pay here. No, right no, way. no. <laughs> How do you know it's up here? Because I've seen the boats. The boats are down on bottom here, you plonker. They're not. They are. That's the exit only. Boating. It's here. It's not down there, Helen. That says exit. Oh, God. Why, why did you not listen to me? Why did you need to check? I told you, I said it's this way. But no, she's got to check, hasn't she? Yes. She hates me being right. Look, let's see how much they are. I don't. Are. We'll them up here. Well, look what she's made me do. You're going to have to film, Ellen. Oh, I don't. I can see. Oh, God. Look, I can see some ducks. Pass it. All right, don't go over the top with filming, though. What do you mean over the top? It is recording now. That, you're just filming Why is your it forehead. Looking up? Turn it round, it's recording. Right, press the button, the thing twice. You're lucky, you've had rowing boats twice in a year. And so I should. I'm worth it, don't you know? I hope you're getting scenery. I'm getting you rowing. He says, he says, you've got an hour, guys. I'm like, we won't be that long. We'll be back in 10 minutes. But I want you to overtake these other boats. Come on, put you back into it. <laughs> Shut up. Slam, man. <laughs> I can't even put my feet on the step because you've <laughs> capitalised it. <laughs> Don't waddle it. <laughs> Hello. Oak. Oh. oh my God. <gasps> They're gonna go over. I'll need a drink after this. I'll buy you one. <laughs> Is it too early to go in full? No. Am I doing a good job? Uh, I'm shattered. We're off to the pub now. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, look at your lovely Hello. dogs. They're loving it, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> I was just talking to a lady there who worked in the uh, cafe 
and uh, she was saying that in a couple of hours the boats get rammed because she says they've got 50 boats and the other place down here has got 40 boats. And she said, so she says it'll be like dodgems. <laughs> so we'll just time that right. Oh, that's good. Do you want an ice cream? Mm, no, thank no. you. No. Oh, you do? It's all the same like... company, that cafe yes. and boats and everything. They all, it's marigold. And they do gloves as well, obviously, so. <laughs> anyway, we're off to Mother Hubbard's cave, aren't we? Oh, we? Can Got you some, walk it from some here? Some fish and chips. It might be a bit hard, though. <laughs> they might be a bit crunchy. <laughs> That's a lovely building, isn't it? Yeah, Do you reckon beautiful. that's a boutique hotel or I an Airbnb imagine. or something? Yeah, I think it's like yeah, a, they're like a boutique guest hotel. house yeah. or something. It's really nice. And look at this, it's almost tropical down here. With oh. the palm tree there. Oh, actually, it, that might be a residential place. Look, you number 11. Nice I bet they've had to turn that ring doorbell off. Do you know everyone <laughs> walking up and down? Yeah. Helen just said, let's see how much the boats are here. So then you know. They'll be the same price, I bet. Or I bet, no, I bet they're a pound cheaper. Are they a pound cheaper? No. Adults are two pound more expensive. Are they? Yeah, and children are one pound less. Ah. But you can get a family ticket yeah, for but 25 pounds. But these boats are not as nice as well. They're a bit grotty. And look. What? Children under five are free, but on the other ones, under three were yeah, free. Right. Look, dogs are free. You wouldn't have to pay for your dog, would you? What film was that in, The World's End? It was The World's End. Is that what it was called? I think so. It was that Cornetto trio thing, wasn't it? Um, Shaun of the Dead. It was them, yeah. But Hot it weren't fours. A, it weren't as good, The World's was End, it was called. Yeah, it weren't as good as the other ones. No, but it was good. Who, what do you like the best, Hot Fuzz or Shaun, Shaun of the, of the Dead? Dead without any doubt. Yeah, that is just so funny. <laughs> no interest in stouts today. Haven't they? No. And she's got me half a, what is it called, this? Prophecy Pale, I think. Prophecy. So it's a pale. It is. It's all right. We need this drink after all that rowing don't we well you do <laughs> but if you look in there let me pan around it's nice in there there's like a restaurant a bit and it's really nice and it opens out so it's like half in half out by folding doors gotta love the by folding doors we're not prejudiced on here are we by <laughs> straight revolving <laughs> I wonder what colour they are on the flag. Revolving doors. I'm sorry, I'm just going off on one here. You are. It's just how my mind works. Yeah, and you know, you can get that moody and angry that you could slam a revolving door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not moody. <laughs> oh, there's a dog in a cart. I had a paint job like that on one of my cars. Gosh, I did. <laughs> oh. Hey, oh. Is that the bedroom? No, that's kitchen. Oh, is it? Is the it? kitchen. Can yeah. I have a peek? Yeah, push you go. Wow. There's fridge. I've got fridge here. Oh, there. yeah. Other oh. side's water tank. Yeah. And yeah. then the that when that's up, that pulls out like a drawer that sink and ob and everything in there. Is it? Wow. Yeah, yeah. But so do you have to cut bottoms if it's raining? I've got like disabled, an awning. But I've or... also we've got a I've got a tent tip back tucked away that oh, we put on. Oh, look at your TV! <laughs> yeah. Do you sleep in tent then when you're travelling yeah. on it, right? Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. That's brilliant. There's no seats in back. So what are you going It's just storage, is it, and everything? Storage, you know. Have you got some kind of mean jukebox thing? Yeah, very good. Okay, I've got another one what's bad at you, then a smaller one what's right Hey, look at all these switches. Yeah. What are they all there Put that one down. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, yeah. I bet you have a right laugh now, don't you? Yeah, you get all like weirdos like us talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Lovely to meet yeah. you. No, you're Thank welcome. You. See you later, there, mate. Papa. Safe <laughs> journey. <laughs> right, we need to find Mother Hubbard's cave. It's there. It's the other side of the road. We were under the bridge looking for it. It looks like a chip shop as well. So here we are. How much do you think this is going to be? Well, you can drive through it. That's what, bizarre. Mother Shipton's cave drive through? Yeah. We're 26 quid lighter. It better be worth it, this. But you do get... I've got a feeling that... You get a fancy get wristband. A wristband. So there might be free drinks. There might be a bar and it's I free doubt drinks. it. I doubt that you very, reckon? very much. I don't think there'll be anything free. It's pandemonium on the uh, the river, Helen. I know, it is. It's all kicking off. Wow. So it's up here. To the petrifying well. I'll tell you what's petrifying when you see how much it costs. That's petrifying. <laughs> Facing a trailer. That's good, isn't it? You do realise I'm probably going to moan all the way around. You might want to go ahead. <laughs> so there's some stocks there where that family they just put the kids there so they could throw stones at them. <laughs> it's punishment. <laughs> what an absolute pointless idea. Is this like a kiddie place? Yeah. Well, what are you doing here? I don't know. Do you want to go meet Tinkerbell? Pixie Hollow, yeah. Hello. I'm not queuing to meet Tinkerbell. Look, I want to get my £13 <laughs> worth. Come on, let, let's wander. And what are these then? You've got Captain Hooks. Oh, you've got oh. Captain Hook in there. Come in, young man. Do you want to learn a secret? Yes. Come sit next to me. It's not going to be you say you've got no knickers on or all that. Is, <laughs> <laughs> is there somebody in that one? <gasps> oh my god. It scares god. me a bit. It's a winter, it's a, an underwater wonderland. Come aboard. You've missed your vocation. This is the type of thing you should have been doing. What, like children's entertainer? Yeah. I could do it. You'd be good at it. I would. I can make balloon animals, so... Yeah. I think that, yeah, this is the next step up. Ahoy, mm. young sir, come aboard! No, I'll not do that, thank you. <laughs> Kids will be running away <laughs> screaming from you. So the play area's all right for kids. So I'll have a mint chocolate chip, please, and a salted caramel. Which kind of chocolate is in? That one, please. I've caught you. Um, no, two separate ones, please. No, this was supposed to be a surprise. Yeah, well, this is why I'm fat, isn't it? Because you just sneak off buying me ice creams when I don't expect it. <laughs> that does look nice. It does, you can try it. Yeah. Mint chop chip, solid caramel. Seven pound bloody sixty there for them two. All right. Is it nice? Mm. Do you want to look at mine? Hang on. Mm. What are you doing? You're just making a mess. You're contaminating. Oh, what are you doing? I'm not. Just have a lick. To say that this corn is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> it's it's got, got some kind of that, stuff on it. Yeah, it's got it? a, I don't know what that is, flaky stuff. A biscuity, like sweet biscuity. coating. But then in between, there's like two coatings of flake, and in between, it's almost like chocolatey, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. This is England's oldest visitor attraction. Is it? Yeah. Wow. Did Paul Daniels buy this? I don't know, where's that come from? I don't know. 
I don't know. <laughs> what else would you say that? I don't know, I just once heard it on Look North, I think. Further up there, there's a little stream and it comes up from a spring. A mile down is a big underwater lake and that's where all the water comes from. Yeah. And it goes through some stone called aquifer. I feel like it's a bit of a letdown, to be honest. It's not hardly, it's hardly a cave, it's just more like a crevice. I thought you'd be able to go right in. So basically, this woman was homeless. Yeah. And she was an unmarried mother, and yeah. she came into this cave and gave birth. What did Poor she? thing. Mother Shipton was the uh, child that she bore. All right. Or she birthed, or whatever. Um, and that's what they called her, is it, when she was born? No. I name you Mother She was Mother called Shipton. Ursula. But then, you will grow wise and you will have a chain of fish and chip shops in the West Yorkshire area. So this is... It's supposed to be a wishing well. Uh, it's, you have to make a way. Yeah. Well, I've anyway. got no coins, so... You don't need coins. I'm not putting coins in. They must, uh, we, they must fish them out because there's not really that many coins I'm going to make a wish. I'm going to shut my eyes and make a wish. I wonder if they'd give them to charity. Hang on. We're in the wishing well. Are you in the wishing well? Yeah. I'm going to close my eyes. Shall we do it together and we'll make yeah. a wish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. After three. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Cheers! Cheers. Cheers. Oh, well done, James. Magic, that. Dreams do come true. Is that nice? What is it? It's a milk stout. It, we're in a Brew York pub, which are really good beers. <laughs> I've got the Juice Forsyth fruity. Juice Forsyth. You know what we forgot about at the... Uh, oh, no. We need to go back. Well, the museum and the gift shop. Yeah. We need to go back. Sorry. Close your eyes. One, two, three. <sighs> no, we have to jump. Helen, stop. It's not drama rama. It is. Okay. Yeah. Right, so. so quick, then, because people come in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that were Helen's idea. <laughs> it's, she's getting carried away now. <laughs> So we've had to beam back here telepathically because <laughs> she's missed out the uh, the, the museum gift shop and the gift and shop. The museum. Which, to be honest with you, is that it's my biggest nightmare. It's the two worst things for me: Helen in a gift shop and a museum. But she's getting a bit arty farty now. We all transitions and that. We're walking along, and she's like, "I've got an idea what we can do." <laughs> honest to God. <laughs> Oh god, here we go. I think they've used a bit of artistic license with that nose, to be honest. I do, I yeah. don't think she probably looked like that. No. Helen? <gasps> there! I told you. He donated that rabbit and bow tie, oh. that's it. it didn't Is that me. it? I thought he bought the whole thing. <gasps> John Wayne? Oh, look at all the stars and people that have brought stuff. Yeah, this is sort of a bit sort of like modern art, isn't it? It's like sculptures. Queen Mary's shoe, look, was donated. I'm going to wait outside, OK? I can't bear it any longer. Mm -hmm. 
Come here. I need to tell you something funny that happened in the gift shop, mm-hmm. which I noticed, but I couldn't film it for obvious reasons, because it was a family at the checkout and they were buying some silly gifts and what have you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the girl that was working behind the counter, you know these people that, she were lovely, but you know when they're a bit over-enthusiastic to okay. kids and they were a boy and a girl, they were about 11 year old. And she's going, have you have a, had a lovely day? And kids are like, oh. She says, have you seen anything interesting? And lad went, no. <laughs> It was just his first, no. I said, is that where you need to look harder? You need to look harder. You've not tried hard <laughs> it enough. Was like, it was it must have been some connection to me. Me and him, we felt a connection. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. We're heading back now. What's your thoughts, Helen, on Mother Shipton's... If you don't have children with you under 10... Avoid it. Don't come. <laughs> it's for kids. Yeah. So we've been basically walking around looking like Muppets. And I've just spent a full week with kids. So it's the last thing I want. You're spending time with me. Can we telepath back to that pub now? Yeah. After three, one, one two, two, three. three. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's all right. Great for it children. Rock, yeah, but it's like, they've had this thing, this cave, which probably, as years have gone by, people have lost interest. So they're like... Well, things have got bigger and better, haven't they, yeah. elsewhere? So they're thinking, how can we drag this out a bit longer? We need to get his money's worth. Now Paul Daniel's into here anymore. So let's just stick a few what's up and some rides. What Chuck rides? Some... There's no rides. No rides, I mean like a swing. Adventure playground. Put some logs on the floor and say, here, hammer your coins into that. You know, it's all a bit... Yeah, innit? sort of uh, dress it up as, like, Tinkerbell and... What's Fairy that stuff. other one? Peter F- Pan and his lost boys in yeah, the woods. Ju- and just everywhere you go, it's like in York, innit? It? It, it's like all this, you know, like witchcrafty stuff. It's all a load of rubbish. She probably didn't even exist. Well, she probably did... And she lived in a cave and she was a bit eccentric and quite sort of intelligent. And she wasn't married. Oh, no, she was. She married that carpenter. But he died and everyone um, accused her of, like, putting a curse on him or something. People were very uh, superstitious and scared, weren't they? Do you know strong women? Yeah, it's all made up. Mm. We've just walked back up the steep hill. Well, that was lovely. That was quarter two. Was that quarter two? Yeah. So, we're back up the top. What a gorgeous day. It is. It is glorious. We've just met a local who recognised us from YouTube and we chatted to him. Stephen, lovely to meet you, Stephen. And the uh, first question we asked him was, what's all the best pubs, mate? <laughs> <laughs> well, he didn't let his disability uh, dampen his life did it no you think they'd have cut grass Ellen
given Helen permission to go in a couple of charity shops. It's the kind of guy I am. Did you know that chiropractors in certain parts of Egypt are just called practors? Eh? You've told it wrong, do it again. What you have to know, just Egyptian. Just in Egypt. Don't say in certain parts, just in Egypt. Well, no, because there's different parts of Egypt than Cairo. Yeah, it's not that. You don't have to overthink it that much. <sighs> I made another one up. I didn't make that one up, by the way, but I've made another one up. I'm just... Let me have a breath, because I've walked up that hill. Uh, so I'm just riffing this off the top of my head. I just thought of it. So... Ali G is no longer doing any acting at all because he's got a massive technology business with computers and everything. He's been working in that eye. Do you get that? Yeah. But AI, I can, AI. But I can AI. see the tumbleweed coming towards us. You know, some of them work, some don't. You've got to sort of work on them, haven't you? See, even places like this, I was going to say boarded up shops, but they're not slagging them off in papers, are they? I think we need to go around here, darling. Go to a pub. Do you want me to go in there and wait for you? That dog looks like I feel. He heard me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless it, isn't it beautiful, that? This Martin House, that's a good charity shop. Get yourself in there. Go on, knock yourself out. Yeah. Hmm. We haven't got long. Um. I'm just thinking about you. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> well then, boy, you're. <laughs> That's us, yeah. That's all way. No heart ever fits me. I've got the biggest head. to film b-roll and look who just walked into my shot. Oh, this was beautiful... it me? Yes. What way do you want to go? That way? Oh, that way. That way. That this way feels way. better. This way. I know that there's a charity shop there, but... Yeah, you don't need it. Oh, do you fancy going for an Indian after we've done? No. <laughs> oh, you do, Helen. Right, you ask me these questions. I always ask you. And like, you want an honest answer, don't you? Oh, that guy's struggling. I don't advise anybody having MS. No. Oh, bless you. It is, Not yeah. Easy. Take okay. care, mate. Thank you. Take Bye. care, pal. You too. Poor lad. I know. Yeah, there was a lad there with MS in a wheelchair and he was str struggling to get us. I don't know if he was like homeless or something, but no, he weren't homeless, but you could tell he'd not got out, couldn't you? Yeah. Got massive holes in his shoes. That must have been when she were in her younger days. She's not got the big nose there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because apparently your nose never stops growing. Yeah. That's uh, Mother Shipton, the early years. <laughs> <laughs> when she was when she were a, a handsome woman 
Shall we go down that way? That's enticing. Yeah, because the castle there. is down this way. Here, yeah, I want you. Right, so we've got such beautiful architecture. Nesbury's such a beautiful place, the river and all these really old buildings. And then look at that over there. Around about 1970, that, it? I bet they were like, yeah, that looks a bit castle -y. It's got a keep. It's disgraceful. The 1970s should be criminalised. We were born in the 70s. You were. I was born in the 80s. You were born in the 70s. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Are you one. thinking of that song, I'll make love to you if you were born in the 80s? Oh, oh Jeddah. I've, I've never heard that song. You have. That's Calvin uh, Harris. Yeah, but I hope that didn't come out in the 90s, because if it did, he would have <laughs> weren't it? He came out in the <laughs> noughties. I can't say that word. I'm about, to, I'm about to blur that word out. Oh. The P word. Because you know, I'm not. I'm not putting all effort into doing a vlog, paying and then money. And the word police. Paying money to go in you. Mother Shipton's cave, and all that shenanigans just for Google to just say, you know what? You said a word which is slightly controversial. You're not going to earn Hi. any money on this video whatsoever. Oh, isn't this nice here? It is. It's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. There's a woman on the door, so you know it's going to cost you. Oh, how much is it? Four quid. Four quid. That's just going that bit of a tower. It's like, as the castle deteriorates, the price goes down gradually. I bet in olden days it was a lot more money. Look at that. Wow. Wow. What a view. Gorgeous, isn't it? We're so lucky, aren't we? Yeah, let's to go this way. To live in such a beautiful country. Oh, she's doing a TikTok here. Yeah. I just wanted to watch her do that TikTok. Hang on. I'm so glad we came up this bit, Helen. I am too. For that view. Absolutely yeah, gorgeous. That is a gorgeous view. It's the golden hour. It is, it's beautiful. I'll send them all the hours. Absolutely beautiful up here, isn't it? Yes, it is gorgeous. And gorgeous view. You wouldn't have known to have come up here for this view. Yeah, look at it. Oh, there's somebody taking a picture here. Look. Oh, come on, we'll go around. <laughs> So I think the subject of this video should be, is this the perfect place for a quintessential English day out? And it's a definite yes. It's a wonderful place, isn't it? It is. You've got everything. You've got spectacular views, architecture. You've got the river, the boat rides, lovely ice creams. You've got history. There's so much to do. And you've also got really nice pubs. Talking of that. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so our top tips for if you do decide to come to Nairsborough is if possible come on a sunny day because that makes a massive difference. Helen says you need to wear comfortable shoes. We need to investigate if there's somewhere where you can stay overnight because this will be we we'd come we'll definitely come back. Pub crawl. Yeah, 
it looks like it'd be fantastic for a pub crawl. I know that's not everybody's bag, but I also know that a lot of people that watch us, they like to go out pubs. There's just so many. There is Every lots. corner you go around, there's like quirky bars. So let's have a look. Blind Jack's right, look, established 1991. Uh, Flipping heck. That's not old, is it? <laughs> So that was a swift half. I've just been chatting to Helly Bobs and I've persuaded her to go for an Indian. This is a very happy moment for me. We've just come out of that pub and Helen spotted a seat at this place. It's going to be cold though now, sun's gone in. Look at her, I've never seen her move so fast. Do you know what, James? Well, it might be closed. It's not even, we thought it was that. It's that there. It's not, it's this, it's that. I want to be cold set here. Do you know what? What? I'm not that, you're going to be cold set here? Yeah, it's cold now, the sun's going in. Well, there's another change of plan now, <laughs> because we were just sat there, we were just about to get a drink, and we bumped into uh, Andy. Andy, who's a, a subscriber or a viewer. And it's told us to come to this pub. Six pubs. Join pub. us in our beautiful courtyard garden. How do we get in? So it's through here. Yes. And uh, yeah, thanks for that recommendation. Oh, and it was that. lovely to meet 2024, you. 2024 bar of the year. And best beer garden in town. There's some amazing bars here, isn't there? Yeah. We'll definitely be back. So there's a gorgeous smell, isn't there? That is a bit curry. I've got curry in my brain now. Is it? It's yeah, well, it's garlic. Don't set forever drinking that because I'm starving. This is our seventh year coming up. Wow. So, yeah. And you've done a really good job. And, uh, and, uh, and the ravages of uh, oh, what it's like to run a pub, but yeah, it seems to come out the other side. So it's been tough, hasn't it? A lot it's of business. It's a bit tough. Yeah. yeah. But it's fun as well. You like it, yeah. yeah. You say you like it in the cellars. You like being in the. Uh... I like. I like it when you're in the cellars and it's really busy up top. It's yeah. like being in the engine room of a submarine. I love oh, that. But it's fantastic. You know, you, 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 can I just? Can I just say your toilets are lovely. Yeah. Do you know I always judge a place by the toilets and they're so lovely and clean. That was really good. Yeah. It's very, it's very true. Yeah. It can get horribly wrong in a place if they're not right. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. What I don't like is some of these fancy signs that they have in certain toilets and you don't know which one's the men's and which one's the women's. <laughs> what you mean like I've not been senor here yet. and senorita? Well yeah, but some of them are crazy, aren't they? And I don't get them. Funny little shapes. Yeah, you just shape yeah, and I'm, I'm like, which what? is the which is the man, which is the woman. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Would you mind just explaining the name of your pub? Six Paul Folk. Well, I've got a map back home, dated 1620. So the map was dated 1620, and it shows not very many streets in Nasborough, but it shows Castlegate and it shows Kergate, and they meet at an angle like that, and on the on the middle of those that angle which is here it said hospital for six poor folks so this is hit this yeah. is this wow yeah. that's interesting that it, went to, it was a bigger it was a bigger yep. building in those days um but yeah so this is probably one of the very oldest the cellars here it's not stone it's hewn out the rock is there? And we is think there? it was the corner of the major castle network. Really? So, yeah. so Gilly, have you ever seen any ghosts or there anything? Is oh, is there? She loves a ghost story. I do. <laughs> well, I, I, worked, I was working here when I was, when we first started, I did all the cooking. And we only did Sunday lunches at that stage. So I was working really late on a Saturday night, getting everything prepped for the following day. And nobody else was in. It was half past two in the morning. And I had a stainless steel table in front of me and I was preparing vegetables and whatever. And there was a window in front of me and I just looked up and in the window there was somebody standing behind me. <gasps> oh god. Oh, did it make a chill go down your spine? <laughs> But yeah. it wasn't scary, and of course I looked around and there was nobody there, but without any shadow of a doubt. <gasps> because you know. The, uh, yeah. And then the window facing that way, yes. on the mezzanine, very attractive window, uh, used to be the girls' bedroom, and one of them died. And you, there's, you, I haven't seen this girl, but evidently she sits on the window, so. Does she? Just yeah, swinging her legs. Oh gosh. Is she, but she sounds friendly. 
<laughs> she sounds hot. Sounds friendly. She's very friendly. Oh. Yeah, I hope she is. I don't know who the bloke was that was behind me, but it wasn't the girl. Oh, so, do you know the original building? What year was it built in? Oh, well, we were written about 1480. That is amazing. Yeah. There's a there's a blue blue plaque outside which you probably you could film. Yeah. Which it, it says that the structure of the roofs is typical of a building that goes back to about 1480. So we've been bought. A pint, which is very kind of you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Gilly. What you got, Helen? What you ordered for her, Gilly? Is, uh, a Ruby, Ruby Mild. Ruby, Ruby Mild from Rudgate Brewery. All right. It's a very, very nice, mild, dark mild. Oh, fantastic. You're the landlord, aren't this you? This is Timothy Taylor's landlord. That's my dad's favourite pint. Arguably pie. the best cast beer in the world. Yes. Wow. It's, it's, my dad loves it. And guess what I've got? A Coke. It is full fat. It's full fat coke, so yeah. Yeah. So we are at the best pub in Nairsburg called Six Port Folk. Yes. Are we? But we are not because there's seven of us. <laughs> <laughs> what a great well, afternoon. We've had a good no, afternoon. No, it's we've great. had it. It's been lovely. We've made wonderful friends I can today. Smell the curry from here. Yeah, oh, we've got. It, you can't wait to get rid of us. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're going for a curry now, aren't we? Uh, James and Helen are going to come and run the pub for a couple yes, of weeks. Yes, we are, that's the plan. A, a couple of weeks. weeks. I think he just wants a holiday, doesn't he? I think that's what... He has more holidays than Judith Chalmers. <laughs> you need to start vlogging him. <laughs> Thank you for fetching us to this wonderful pub. You're very welcome. Appreciate it. And hope you're back soon. We will we'll definitely be. We will definitely be back soon. Absolutely. We shall be camping on your doorstep. Don't we'll like your boffin. Yeah. You're very welcome. Sivy. 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 Sivy lad. He's, he's customising it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the drinks and everything, really appreciate that. So what are you having? Sialetti. Uh, What's that? Lamb that chop like, curry. That I've no idea. Italian to me. I've no idea. We've got the, uh, the, the traditional really starters. So we've had a lovely day today and we've just spent ages in that pub chatting with his new friends. Oh, wait, it was lovely we've to made new all. friends. Yeah, and then we... And they are lovely friends. They've recommended this curry house, which is just across the road, and it's called Lawai La Spice. What are you doing there? I forgot to film the starter. We've just shared a, a mixed kebab. It was very nice. And we just had six papadums between us. I've ordered a chicken, something or other. That's a famous dish, don't you know it? <laughs> what, you mean uh, chicken tarka? <laughs> well, Go it's on. Like, it's like a chicken madras, but a little lotter. <laughs> <laughs> you see how I sort of like... You set me up with that one, I didn't did. you? I did. Right, the first bit is here. That was yours, wasn't it? What, what was it? Lamb something or other? Lamb chops. That's lamb chops. That's, what did I order? Chicken Rogan Josh. Rogan Josh. We've got pillow rice. And we've got some naan breads. There's only one kind of naan bread you can have. And that's a peshwari naan. What, well, you? I, I'm having a keema naan. Yeah, that's, that's just wrong. That's nearly as bad as gravy on fish. Peshwari, that looks lovely. Keema. We've gone half and half as usual. So it was quite nice. I think the thing with an Indian is not to go over top. We used to go over top, didn't we? And you end up full. It's just the right amount here, I think. Oh, we're ready for home. At least it's not too far, is it? Absolutely. I'm dying to get in my bed. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. It's all right for you. Why? You're getting your bed. You haven't got to sleep in the back of a van, have you? You sleep in the back of a van every <laughs> night. I love it, really. Right, come and stay at mine. Oh, I've got, I'm off vlogging tomorrow, I've got Why things to do. Why don't you stop at my house? Cut. <laughs> Are you tired? I'm tired, I'm shattered, yeah. Are you yeah, tired? Yeah, I can't wait to get home to my bed. Okay. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Ding the dingy bell. Ding the ding bell.
and it doesn't cost you anything. It Not doesn't. like the television license. Absolutely. <laughs> I've been looking into that. Oh, Apparently, oh. if you're blind, you get 50%. <laughs> so don't the bloody do. Right. <laughs> is, is that what they get off 50% off? Yeah. Of the book? They can't watch it, can they? Yeah, but they can listen to it. Oh, God. I know, isn't it awful? Mm. However, half a million people have opted out. Yeah. But so you can't watch other TV on terrestrial don't TV. Pay it to license. Right, anyway, we're going. It's just a thing that I've been reading about oh. lately, and, and I just feel as though it's a little bit unfair. Stop getting political. You tell me off. Is that political? Yeah. Getting right Is political, it? yeah. I'm going to start now. I don't if you, even if you, watch if you saw BBC one or two, because they don't work in my kitchen. Right, can we go now? So we'll see you in the next vlog. Don't know where it'll be. Don't know where, don't know when. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, is that a song? Let's just go, Ellen. So you keep continuing. All right. <laughs> I'm trying to, this video is going to be another 50 hour ma marathon. All right. <laughs> see you all. I have been silenced. Okay. Seven. Seven. <laughs>